Canon are coming up with the new cameras very soon. Stay tuned. What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. Canon in 2019 is going aggressively trying to catch up with the market. Despite that their sales are down on the DSLR market, but seems that they are trying to catch up with the ship before it sails away. I made a video in January this year about Canon and if they will catch up with the competitors and give us the features that are being held away for a long time, like the 120 frames per second shooting on 1080 or HD or even 4K. And of course they are uncropped 4K, but so far they came up with the EOS R system, which is uh, EOS RP and EOS R, plus the new lenses, which been announced to be released this year. So far, they released the 85 mm f1.8, which is stunning in image quality, and yet others to come. According to CanonRumors.com website, Canon also will release new two lenses soon: the RF 24 to 70 f 2.8 L IS USM and the RF 15 to 35 mm f 2.8 L IS USM lens. Both two lenses are very much wanted, and 15 15 to 35 millimeter this is a new to Canon, which I believe it will be a great lens for vloggers where it will give them the wide angle that's suitable for vlogging. And being an IS, which is a stabilized lens, USM motor, which is quiet, I think those two lenses will be so much in demand. Also, Canon announced that they will release a camera which is approximately 80 megapixel or even more. That's really huge when it comes to a camera with this much of megapixels. This, I believe, is part of the specifications battles where Canon dragged to this battle and they will start to release cameras with uh, many specifications which will be great for us as a consumers getting more specifications in current cameras which has been held from us for a long time in their lately released cameras also releasing uh, 80 megapixel and above camera part of them competing with the uh, announced uh, sony camera and that will shoot 70 megapixel so canon is dragged to this war let's see what they will come up with now coming back to canonrumors.com website which they said that the new two cameras will be released by the end of August is the 90D and the M6 Mark II. When I looked at the rumored specifications of the 90D I was hoping that it will be an upgrade for the 7D Mark II which is a great camera I've been using for almost five years and for me I consider it a baby 1DX Mark II. It's an amazing camera the 7D Mark II. It's really with the specification that this camera has it works for me similar to the 1DX Mark II, but of course in a cropped sensor. Great camera for shooting wildlife and fast moving subjects. And I believe it's the time now for Canon to upgrade this camera. However, the rumored specifications about the 90D shows that it's not an upgrade for the 7D Mark II. Let me take you through the specifications that has been rumored from Canon Rumors website, and you can judge for yourself. That this camera will come at 32.5 megapixel APS-C sensor with the dual pixel autofocus sensor. I believe the dual pixel autofocus now become a standard on every newly released Canon camera. This also will include the dual Digic 8 sensor, dual SD card slots, hopefully, uh, 10 frames per second still shooting, ISO range between 100 and 51,200, 45 autofocus points, but they didn't mention uh, out of those 45 points how many it will be the cross type points, 4K video shooting, 24 frames, 25 frames, 30 and 60 frames. 24 frames, I have doubt about it because I'm not sure with the Canon direction on such cameras if they will keep the 24 frames or they will keep it only for the top high-end cameras that they release. They didn't mention anything about the dual pixel autofocus and the 4K recording if it will be there or not. 3.2 inch rear articulating screen and also the articulating LCD become somehow standard on all newly released cameras from Canon. So this one also as uh, rumored it will have a 3.2 inch rear articulated LCD, dust and moisture ceiling, a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth it will be there as well and the price is about 1,399 US dollar uh, that's when they launch it somehow similar to the price of the RB when they launch it. If you ask me my opinion personally as a Canon shooter what, what you expect from Canon. To be honest for me I'm waiting for the release of the new 1DX Mark III. That for me will be either a go camera or I will move to the cinema line where I will just dedicate my 5D Mark IV for photo shoot and I will keep the cinema line for video. As a hybrid shooter, once always a camera that shoots both still and videos together in a high quality. And personally, if you ask me why 
why you're still sticking to Canon, I would tell you because of the color science and the skin tones that I get easily from Canon. That makes my workflow much easier than to have output from any other camera and work a lot in post. Moreover, having lots of Canon gear is not easy for me to ship, so I'm still waiting to get what I want from Canon, hopefully. When it comes to Canon cameras, something you can depend on. You can use it as a professional, no overheat, dual pixel autofocus is amazing. So something you can really depend on when you are a hybrid shooter. The 1DX Mark III, which is uh, from, I think, February, it's been rumored that it's been given to some professionals for testing, hopefully for photos and videos, I'm not sure. It's around the corner, like uh, if they will not release it by the end of this year, they have to release it by first quarter of 2020, because 2020 will be the Olympics and Canon always being the sponsor of the Olympics. So they have to release it either before the Olympics or within the Olympics announced. Also, I feel this is the direction of Canon moving towards the mirrorless world. As I mentioned earlier, their profits and sales on the first and second quarter of this year on the DSLR was not that good. So their major focus will be on the mirrorless because they are start to doing well in the mirrorless after the R and the RP system and the release of the new lenses. Everybody want to test it and everybody mentioned how good it is when it comes to the R systems, having the lens much near to the sensor that you can enhance the image quality that comes out from such lenses. The direction of Canon being towards the mirrorless world, releasing all those lenses also this year. So the setup will be ready to have the professional camera, which is either the EOS R, the professional version, because when Canon, they announced the EOS R, they said this is not the professional version of the R. There is one more version that will be the professional one. Or the 1DX Mark III, that's what everybody is waiting for, and that I think must to come for Canon on the direction of the mirrorless. Those are my thoughts for today. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as usual, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you receive a new video whenever I release a new one. And always remember, let your camera tell your moments. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.